You must know the difference between an asset and a liability and buy assets. Rich people acquire assets. The poor and middle class acquire liabilities they think are assets, Rich Dad says. The biggest challenge poor people have is knowing the difference between an asset and a liability. Knowing the difference between the two can help you become rich. So, what's the difference? An asset puts money into your pocket. A liability takes money out of your pocket. Assets add to your income. Liabilities add to your expenses. And the job of a poor person pays you an income that then covers your expenses. The job of a middle class person pays you an income then pays down liabilities then pays expenses. However, for a rich person, their assets pay them an income. For example, their assets may give them rental income, dividends, interest, or royalties. Here are a few examples of liabilities that the middle class own. Mortgage car loans credit card debt school loans here are a few examples of assets that rich people own. Real estate stocks bonds notes intellectual property many people who are poor or in the middle class often say, I'm in debt, so I need to make more money. However, getting money isn't a problem. It's the lack of financial literacy that's the problem. So if they simply had more money, the problem might become worse. That's why when people win the lottery or get a pay raise, they usually end up back in the same financial situation as they did before. If a person spends all they have, the pattern will continue every time they make money. Professional success isn't directly tied to academic success anymore. Most students leave their schools with limited financial literacy. Later in life, they find themselves struggling financially. What they need to know more than how to make money is how to manage their money. This skill is called financial aptitude. Most people learned how to work hard instead of how to make money work hard for them. Taxes end up costing the poor and middle class in the long run. People often buy bigger homes to grow a family, and property tax rises. People's salaries increase over time, and so social security tax also sees a rise. And before long, their liabilities column is filled up with a mortgage and credit card debt. Thus, trapping them in the rat race. The secret to knowing how to make money is simply about creating assets instead of liabilities. Golden Rule. He who has the gold makes the rules. Most financial problems are caused by trying to keep up with the Joneses. You might choose to buy a bigger house, work harder, or get a promotion or pay raise. As teenagers, Mike and Robert would work with their rich dad. They studied how he held meetings with his bankers, attorneys, accountants, investors, so forth. Even though his rich dad had left school at 13, he was now directing some very educated people. Rich dad regularly told the two teens, an intelligent person hires people who are more intelligent than he is. As a teenager, Robert realized he had more financial literacy than his poor dad as he was able to keep books and spent a lot of time listening to bankers, tax accountants, real estate brokers, and others like them. In this section of Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki shares that many people view their home as an asset. However, in many cases, the value of a home doesn't always go up. Sometimes people buy million-dollar houses that would sell for far less. Retirees such as Kim's parents had a strain on their budget when their property taxes increased to $1,000 a month. When Robert plans on buying a bigger house, he first buys assets that will generate the cash flow to pay for the house. He shares that as you continue to grow your asset column, over time, you'll also see the growth of your income. And that's why the rich keep getting richer however, the reason why the middle class struggles are because taxes increase as their salaries increase. Employees work for three key groups. Company. Making the owners and shareholders rich government. Possibly 100% of the work you do from January until May goes towards taxes bank. Your biggest expenses are your mortgage and credit card debt. Wealth is a person's ability to survive so many number of days forward or, if I stopped working today, how long could I survive? For example, if a person has $1,000 a month in cash flow from their asset column and they have monthly expenses of $2,000 a month, they will only be wealthy once they have $2,000 a month of cash flow to their asset column. The average American only has less than $400 in savings, with an astounding 34% with none at all. So to sum up, the rich buy assets. The poor only have expenses. The middle class buy liabilities they think are assets.